Hey everyone, this is David Tashi once again coming to you from my home in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, tonight's topic, we're going to talk about traveling. Um, the fun things of traveling and a few tips, you know, to get you prepared for a trip. Personally, me, I, just lo I, love, I love traveling. I mean, I have tra don't, don't travel, I haven't traveled that much, but I mean, I love, you know, when I get, when I can, like, either, even if I, you know, even if I, you know, go out of the uh, city for a couple of days, or or get a plane and fly somewhere, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we're um, actually um, me and my brother, bro, and we're planning a trip to Chicago. We're leaving tomorrow, and we're actually going to spend time with the family. And my youngest cousin, she's going to be actually be, be getting married. And this trip, we're really looking forward to. And when you're traveling, there's so many things that you can. When you're traveling. Rather, you're out of travel, out, 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 out stay out of the country. There's so many things you you, you get to explore in different different states and different countries. You get a chance to try you know different types of food. You get to see new cultures. Um, get to you know see the history. Learn if you go somewhere like out of town, if like travel out, out of the country to like Paris, Japan, Germany, and you can also get to you know see historic buildings in that country. Also, here are some some few tips when you're preparing for a vacation. Rather, if you're traveling out of the country or out of state, it's best to have things prepared ahead of time. Have your um, clothing, your stuff packed, uh, it, it, you know, ahead of time. It all depends. It's got to depend on uh, where you're traveling, on where you're going, and how long you're going to be gone. Okay, like for example, let's say if you're gonna be, um, let's say if you're gonna be flying to like uh, Germany, like like Frankfurt, Germany. You you never you you never been before. You want to go there. You know you got your passport, and everything. You got your tickets, every everything that you need. And you're gonna be gone. Let's say you're gonna be gone for like uh, three weeks. The best thing is to have things prepared ahead of time. I would say. Obviously, with, with, with a trip like that, you probably want to start planning things maybe a few weeks at a time. You know, decide how much clothing you're going to need for three weeks. Uh, so, and if you're bringing like a like a cell phone with you, a laptop, you're probably going to have to get one of those um, those inverters, those adapter things, because you know, of course out there, their their circuit, their their uh, their outlets are different than the than the U.S. ones. So you probably have to be one one of those one of those. I think they're called inverters. I think that I think that's I think that's what they're called. Um, also, uh, make sure you um, have everything that you need with you. You know, your passport, your money, uh, credit cards, etc., or or whatever you got to be with you. Or um, you know, let's say if you got to bring your um, bring like a video camera with you. You know, make sure you got that packed with you. If you got, if you want to take videos, take take pictures. Um, actually, I'm, when I'm going to, to Chicago, leaving tomorrow with my brother Barlaw, my um, actually I'm going to bring my um, my phone with me because my phone, my, my phone also will take will take pictures and video. And I think my brother-in-law's got to bring his his video camera. I think my my brother's got to bring bring his bring his um his um uh GoPro with him. Yes. Yeah, I would say you know, and we um, we got and like, like I say, I was preparing my I was packing stuff up pretty much most of the day, because um, the reason is you, the reason why you want to be prepared ahead of time is that you, you don't want to rush at the last minute, because uh, what can happen is if you if you if you rush if you rush at the last if you if you rush it at the last minute when you get to de destination, chances are you got to realize you forgot something, or if you don't leave on time, you're going to end up missing your flight, which you don't want to do. So, when you're planning a trip, it's always best to have these planned ahead of time. At least have things packed up ready, you know, a day in advance. So this way, the next the next day, we we got head to we got to hit your head out of town, or you got to head to head to the airport to catch your flight. You got your suitcase, you got your carry on, all stuff's packed, you're ready to go. All you got to do is throw out the vehicle. Get to the airport, you get on the plane, and you're good to go. 
With that being said, this is David Tashi coming to you once again from Phoenix, Arizona. Wish you all a very great evening and a good night. Take care, and I will talk to you guys later on. Bye-bye.